Hi, my name is Sky. For those of you who are new, don't forget to subscribe and turn on all post notifications. And if you like what you see, don't forget to like and comment. And uh, all information will be down in the description box below. And with that being said, let's get started. Take what works and leave what doesn't. This is a personalized way of how I get stuff done and what might work for me may not work for you. Do keep that in mind, but I do hope this can help you build the confidence to make your own schedule. Working with the schedule is like building a budget backwards. Just like money, time is finite too. But here are some tips that help me stay on top of things. Number one, take a raw inventory on just how you spend your time naturally. Take note on how much time you spend working, how much time you spend lollygagging, how many hours a night you get to sleep, or whenever you sleep. Do you need naps throughout the day? Productive or not, it's the same 24 hours and they will catch anybody slipping. After graduating college, I thought I would just have all this free time. Um, no. It's the same amount of time, love. So in order to work with a flexible schedule, you must first learn how you work as an individual. Number two don't get attached to any fixed schedule. As an entrepreneur, you're both the boss and the worker and you truly wanna be good at both. Things like knowing when to give yourself breaks and planning your lollygagging ahead of time. But let's say you're really bad at this. Find things that naturally correlate to taking a break in your day. When I'm in the zone, I could work for hours and not even notice it, which is a good thing, but definitely do keep an eye out for time. Sure, you can work as long as you like, but once you hit that fatigue, definitely give yourself the permission to take a break or even be done for the day. It's your call. I don't have a consistent amount of time I like to spend working. I'm usually more focused on actually getting the things done rather than how much time I'm spending working. Sometimes I'll have the focus and motivation to work for two hours plus. Others, you're getting 30 minutes. I really take the time to take care of myself while working because I know the better I take care of myself, the more I can put in. If I'm not feeling it, I don't push myself, but when I am, I try my best to lock in. For me, after so long, my computer will start acting slow. The slowing of my productivity will break my concentration, which can be very frustrating. Once I notice or pick up on this specific lag or hiccup in my day, I'll usually take a break, a clean break or completely stop for the day. And my third tip is to keep a running list. Honestly, don't ever expect to complete that list in a singular day. The goal is more to take something off rather than complete the whole thing. Just something, anything, and when you have the heart to do it. And I use the term heart loosely because I really don't have a strict regimen of when exactly and what I want to do exactly. I kind of choose my own adventure. Personally, I have so many things I want to get done in a day that I usually end up overwhelming myself and end up doing nothing at all. Once you do that, you'll get to a point where you'll eventually just settle for one or two things being done off the list rather than procrastinating and doing nothing at all. And if you have a hard time delegating when and what to do exactly, just refer to that list. This helps me especially when I'm building up anxiety when I think I'm not being productive enough. If I can identify at least one or two things that I've done for the day and that I have completed and that I know I just do not have the energy to do anything else, I will simply acknowledge this and let my mind focus on relaxing. And if I haven't, I'll just pick a task at a time. And then I'll pick another if I have more energy left over and again and again until I'm in the same boat. I will say being in touch with your energy level is very important. Monitoring your energy level is like optimizing your productivity. A bonus tip is to go with the flow. Listen, you're gonna have good days and you're gonna have bad days. And honestly, it doesn't matter what you do. Just keep going, keep showing up for yourself, keep putting in effort, keep putting in work because one day it will pay off. The only way you can guarantee that L is if you quit. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again today. This is actually a night shoot where I attempted to do something different. I have my lights on and I have my spooky time bat lights in the back. I definitely spent some extra effort finding that in the back of my closet. And uh, yeah, I did set up my shower speaker that doesn't really work that well. 
to hold it up against my ripped roll bed. See, you weren't supposed to see all that.